to go with our Rieger pliers, we picked up Rieger pliers. Hi guys, I am back. Our studio at JSU has had a great year of fundraising and there is nothing better than getting to spend some of our money on those much needed items. So here's what we've been buying. Our first three purchases come from Miller Marketing. First up, we have a Rieger Mandrel. Now this is one of my favorites, largely because it is not so long that it goes too far into the blades. Um, it also is wide enough to give a nice arch in the tip opening of a finish reed, and it is wide enough at the base to have that great opening, just perfect to fit onto your bocal. To go with our Rieger Mandrel, we picked up a set of Rieger pliers. I love how these fit together. First off, the circle that is in the pliers directly fits with the circle and width of the uh, mandrel. So these two are a great fit and I love using them together. The roundness of the tube inside the pliers, again, allows for a lot of squinching on the tube to create that perfectly round tube base, getting a great fit on the bocal, and also making sure that you get a nice dark sound. The rounder the tube, the darker the sound. Also from Miller Marketing, we picked up another bundle of the Rigotti GSP cane. Now, if you watched my last haul video, I noted that the Rigotti GSP cane is wider than the Rieger 1A or the Fox 2 shape. Being the curious little bassoonist that I am, I did take it and put it on a Rieger 2 shaper. And just here at the very tip, it is about a half millimeter wider than the Rieger 2 shape. Everywhere else, it lines up. So if you're curious about buying some Rigotti GSP cane, it is relatively close to the Rieger 2 shape. Um, the bundle that I got from Miller Marketing has the letters JLE on the inside. The bundle that I got from Force did not have the JLE. If you know what the JLE stands for, as I am relatively new to Rigotti GSP, please leave me a comment in the, uh, in the comments down below so that I can figure out what that means. And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there who doesn't know what the difference is. I will tell you that I have done some price comparison. It is substantially cheaper to buy the Rigotti GSP from Miller Marketing. It runs about $33.90 for a bundle of 10 versus Forest, which is over $40. Unless you're buying multiple bundles, then it can push the cost down, but it still overall is cheaper to buy at Miller Marketing. From the hardware store, we picked up a nail pin. Now I know there are a lot of fancy mechanisms out there to help you bevel on the market, but a nail pin is cost effective for college students and we're able to get just as great of results. The final portion that we purchased with some of our money from the fundraising events was what I like to consider some of the most overlooked portions of bassoonists, sharpening of knives. That being said, I have so many friends that are oboists and they refuse to let me have dull knives. So I asked them for a no-nonsense stone. I want to leave the stones over summer vacation and not need to babysit them. I don't want to have to soak them and I do not want to have to oil them. So my oboe friends told me about two stones that you could pick up on Amazon for a relatively low cost that are no maintenance. First up, we have the super fine diamond stone. Um, this one is a great finishing knife stone so that I make sure that I get a great edge. We also picked up another stone that is a little bit more coarse. This too does not need any maintenance, no oiling, no soaking. Um, and this one allows for just a little bit of regrinding if needed. So the red is more coarse, the green is super fine. Okay guys, I hope you found this uh, fun to see what we are buying as a studio. I'm always interested to see what other bassoonists are purchasing. If you liked this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure that you never miss a video of buying bassoon goodies, be sure to click that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hi guys! I am back today to talk to you about how to extend the life of your reed and also the top three ways that I see reeds die that can oftentimes be avoided. I did so well until I said the end. <laughs>